building a battery pack. Next on Now You Know. All right, so we got our 13S 4P battery pack. It is ready to go. We just pop some wires on this thing, and I think as long as it all stays together, we can mow the lawn. No, no, no. no. <laughs> You're going to need a couple things here. What, uh, what do you mean? You're going to need your uh, connectors. Connectors? Okay, your uh, nickel strip. Nickel yeah, you're going to need uh, the spot welder. Yeah, just you know, put this over spot here. Welder? Here's your pedal. Wait, with a... What? Yeah. What I... Yeah, you're definitely going to need like a BMS, right? This is BMS. what they look like. Uh-huh. A couple of wires. Oh, okay. We're going to need some fuses. And... Uh, uh, some more BMSs, yeah, and uh, yeah, that's maybe some more nickel strip. Yeah, we're pretty good. That's uh, that'll work. Oh my god, I didn't <laughs> know we would need all this stuff. I thought we were just kind of, you know, clip it together and. Oh no, 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 no! It's serious. Okay. Um, well, I'm j I'm just feeling really overwhelmed. Is there anything we can just kind of start with at all? Yeah. No. Just relax. Here, we okay. just start with. Just one thing, connectors. Okay. Okay, you ever played with Legos? Yeah. This is it. Put those together. Oh, okay. And then? Put two batteries in there. Oops, put it that way. There you go. That's uh, 1S, 2P. Okay, that wasn't so hard. Here, don't worry, you just need a few more, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. <laughs> all right, so we've got four batteries in parallel. But now the question is, I have these all laid out, kind of like, you know, you ever have the flashlight with the D batteries and you load in like three D batteries? I guess so you can just beat someone up. Yeah. It's not for not for any electrical reason. What Could do you mean? It's a flashlight. Yeah, what do you use it for? <laughs> I'm just saying, we're not going to be able to do this like, sp you know, spring off of each side here. We're going to need to do some other configuration. Um, how is that going to work? So we're going to go in this direction and yep. then we're going to go out that way. Oh, and but I mean to keep them in series, aren't we gonna need to do like one of these so that way it's kind of wrapping around like that? Yeah. And so that way the pack is actually gonna be not smaller. I didn't even it's, think of that. You're it takes right. Up the same amount of space, <laughs> but it's gonna have to be something like that, right? That's exactly right. It's gonna okay. go positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay. So yeah. let's. Uh, I guess we start building that. Yeah. So you can see here that I have 13 batteries going across and I have four in parallel like, like we talked about before and then we have the 13S, so 13S4P. Now you might be wondering why all of these batteries aren't facing the same direction and that's because we need to do that 13S. They need to be in series. So what we're going to do here is we obviously have the, the one that's positive and then we have the one that's negative and so what we're going to do is connect across these two so that way it's almost like they were next to each other. Like a flashlight. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna connect up some things. So I'm assuming we're just taking some wires and sticking them on. You know, no, 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 no. What are we doing? All right, so we've got a spot weld strips Whoa. like this. Okay. Okay, and so we gotta use this special spot welder. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna melt a strip of nickel on top to make our connections. Whoa, all right, well, let's try that out. Yeah. And this is the setup we have. So we've got a charger hooked up to a battery. So it's filling the tank. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to a spot welder. And this, you have a pedal. And what the pedal does is then deliver mm -hmm. enough amps to melt in that little spot. All right, you look like you're ready to go. Yeah, here we go. All right, do it. How'd it go? Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Wow. 
Okay, so now we're going to be testing the voltage on, this should be 3S at this point. This is 3S. So let's take a look. So I'll slide this one underneath. So it should be 4.2 times 3, so it should be 12.6. There it is. Woo! All right. Oh. Nice. Awesome. 12.6. There we go. We're getting there. So this could now run a drill. Oh, yeah, it could run a lot of things. It could, it's should a we very try powerful it? drill. To test out that we have moved into uh, 3S, which is 3 parallel, so 3 times 4.2 uh, ends up being around... Uh, 12 ish volts. 12, yeah, around. And this is a 12 volt drill because it was run on a battery pack that was 3S. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Nice. So that means that's the right voltage. Yep. And I have enough amperage. So if we wanted to, we could just cut this off. Yeah, there's your pack right Boom. there. Boom, a big powerful pack. Just that right there. Normally you'd have maybe six cells and right now we're looking at 12. Uh, Look at this. Ta -da. <laughs> we got it. We got ourselves our beautiful battery pack. 13S 4P. Yeah. Look at that. So 48 volt nominal, but if you add up 4.2 for each cell, it should end up being 56 or uh, some might be a little bit lower, so 54.4. Cool, right, but it works. So right here is the most negative. We even marked it underneath with the minus sign. And over here is the most positive. So you can kind of imagine this like a big battery, kind of like this one almost. There are cells in the box here. That's cool. You're just not seeing it. But right. that's the most, the most positive and the most negative. Right. And Same with, with all that. batteries in packs, you don't see the cells generally. For instance, in here, right? There are cells, but you don't see, you don't know, you don't get to see them. All right, so Mr. G, we just made this battery. It has a capacity of about 540 watt hours. That's, not, that's a lot. That is a lot of power. That's half a kilowatt. That's about what's in here. Really? Yeah. In terms of watt hours. Watt hours. So they do different things, right? This has a very high C rating. Yeah, low voltage mm -hmm. with a high C rating. Lots of amps to turn that starter. And so you could potentially get, how many amps are we talking? Uh, this will go up to about 600 or 800, 800 amps. Wow, okay. This battery pack is 48 volts. Nominal. Nominal. So right now it's at 56 -ish. 56. Um, but it can only do around 10, 15, 20 amps. Yeah, well, if, if at 1C it'll do 10 amps, right. but at 56 volts. True. So, so that's a lot. So that's a lot but more you can also, watts. Yeah, okay. so you could do 2C and go up to 20 amps. Think about your house like a, like a 20 amp breaker. That's a big deal. That's right. a lot of power. That's true. So we've got this guy, mm -hmm. um, and then we have this guy. Don't hurt yourself. Whoa. That is a lot. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, yeah. So, but they hold the oh. same amount of energy. <laughs> so let's just do the, let's just do a comparison in terms of weight. Let's pop it on here. That's nothing. Can't even read it. That's barely even, we should come over here to something more, more accurate. Five pounds. So we've made our pack. It's five pounds. Yeah. This one, on the other hand, let's pop it on the scale. 35 pounds. Wow. So that's a seven times difference for the same amount of energy density. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's energy density that's what really matters. Correct. As long as you can fulfill your application with the battery, it's energy that is going to be, you know, you doing something. Per pound. Stuff. Right. It's kind of like power to weight ratio or, you know, for instance, like an athlete, they're strong and lightweight. Right. So that's what gives them high performance. We built this battery pack so that we could use it with this motor. So can I just connect it? Let's try it. All right. So I'm gonna I'll hold it. Okay. Good idea. <laughs> I'm going to take the most negative. Yeah. Attach it to the most negative. Yeah. And then I'm going to take the most positive and attach it to the most positive. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. So this is just ah! <laughs> it's the same as, as the triple A, <laughs> same as the double A battery back in school, right? So just a nice, ah! ready? Ah! 
<laughs> one more, one more, one more time. Okay, again, again, ready, 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 again, again, again. Oh my oh. god, that's Woo. legit. Okay, we're not playing games. Here. Wow, that's legit. Uh, you know what's crazy? You can feel the wind. <laughs> What's really wild, right, is that when you do the double A experiments in yeah. school, right, you're turning on like a little light bulb. Yeah. Or you're making a little little motor go, right? And you're just touching stuff together and it doesn't feel very powerful. It's the same touching together and you get that. Yeah. All right, well, let's, I can't want to, I really want to keep doing it. Okay, okay, chill, chill, hold on. I'll ready? Hold it Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Did your, did your parents know that you're doing this? <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> you okay? Is your yeah, tongue bleeding? my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, my God. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Jesus. Three, two, one. Yeah. Three, two, one. Wow, right? Yeah. Careful. Oh, yeah. Good. Whoa. <laughs> There's Ooh. quite a bit of wind coming off of that. Yeah. We did it. It works. Yeah. And we played with it for so long, the yeah. battery is now dead. Okay. So, all right. So, where do we go and uh, plug it in? No, no. Hold on. That's a whole other thing. We got to learn all about it. So, another episode, you mean? Yeah, another episode. All right. Well, check it out next time. Now you know. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.